Hey everybody, I decided to make a series of videos about Fusion 360. Now, I want to give a disclaimer. I totally taught myself how to use Fusion 360. Now, I did watch some of uh, Lars Christensen's videos on YouTube to help kind of kickstart me, but I'm going to try to produce the most basic level uh, of how I got to where I've achieved drawing the type of 3D models I do. Okay, now if you're one of my longtime followers, you know that just about everything I do is for model aviation. Um, and if you're new to my channel or new to seeing this video, just keep in mind everything that I have designed in 3D goes toward model aviation. Okay, so we're gonna dive in here. Let me start my recording real quick on my <clears throat> screen capture. So now you can see a uh, model I created, and this is the right J5 whirlwind engine, and basically it's the engine that was on the Spirit of St. Louis. And um, so I'm gonna start with some basic navigation here, and then we're gonna get rid of this drawing here, um, I mean this design here, because we're not gonna start anywhere near this level. But on your mouse, you have the wheel that you can roll forward and backwards, and that is how you zoom in and out, okay? Now, if I press my shift down and press the roller wheel down, I can rotate. If I hold the control down and press my wheel down, I can drag my object around, okay? So that's basic how you move around in this environment. Now. In the upper right hand corner, you see the little house, that means home, and that takes you back to the home view. You can go to a front view, you can go to kind of a top angle view, you can go to the top, you can go to the right, and then you can rotate so you're seeing it from the right, okay? You can go back to the home view. So now what I'm gonna do, oh, before I get too far, on the left here is all the parts that make this up. These are what are called components, okay? So if I turn off cylinder one here, you see cylinder one just disappeared over there, okay? Down here on the bottom is basically your history line. As I'm building, all these start popping up, which is all the, the things that I was doing building this model, okay? So that's basically this, this screen. So let's open up here. So now we're gonna start with an absolute fresh screen. Over here on my left is all my different projects that I've done, okay? And there are the file folders that make up the actual model. <coughs> Excuse me. So on the top here, we have create. This is how you basically, you use all these different tools to create a sketch. Modify is how you modify parts that you've basically drawn, assemble, is where basically you're gonna create some different things that function together. Construct is, um, it seems really complicated and I'll dive into that, uh, probably not in this first video very deep, but in one of the future videos. But all of this is used to create a plane that you sketch on, okay? Then you have inspect, which means you can measure different things and look at different things in your model. You have insert, which I use quite often. You can insert a canvas, which is normally a JPEG, peg or something that you're going to import so you can draw off of that to create like let's say a model aircraft. You can also import a DXF to build off your CAD drawing. And then the select I always just leave it on the default select. So now let's talk about how you actually start a drawing. If you wanted to just do just playing around you click over here on origin and now you see three planes which makes up the three dimensions of the drawings. You got like a plan view, you've got a side view or a elevation view, then you have a front view or an elevation. These are your three dimensions that you can draw in. But I never start like this. First of all, I name my uh, model. So I'm just gonna name this test, uh, let's see, 05, because I think I've got one through four already taken. So now it says test five there. Now I'm gonna come down here, click document settings, and here's where you're gonna click on this, and you on the right hand side can decide if you're gonna use millimeters, inches, feet, whatever, centimeters. I always draw in millimeters. To me, millimeters was easier because three plus two plus 2.5 is easy to add up. Three sixteenths, five eighths, one half. It's hard to make all of that work unless you take it down to um, a decimal. So that's how you set your drawing measurements. 
Now, the origin, if you turn it on now, you're still going to see those three planes, but I never take the name of my, my creation or my, my, what I'm going to build and start from there. I always right click, hit new component, and I name this like part number one. So now you see part number one is illuminated over here and this little guy's next to it. If you go up to here, this will make your, your entire build visible. By doing this, it highlights only that part. So now if I open up that part, you'll see origin. I'm gonna click origin. Now I have my three axes. So I'm going to now right click on an axis and you're gonna scroll down a little bit and see create sketch. This is how you actually start drawing. Okay, I'm gonna go through that again. You're gonna pick an axis. I always like to draw in plan view at first, first unless I'm designing a 3D engine. When I designed this right engine here, I did start on the front elevation because I drew the crankcase first. But for the purposes of, of, of training today, we're gonna to right click, hit create sketch, and if you notice that orient, it put me in the orientation where I'm looking straight down from the top. You can verify that by looking at the upper right hand corner, it says top. Now, you can go up and click any one of these to start drawing your sketch. But what I've done is you go to create, I went to line, if you go to these three little dots here, click on it, you can say pin to toolbar, which this is the toolbar, or you can hit, you can hit pin to shortcut. Okay, if you hit S as in Sam on your keyboard, a shortcut bar will pop open, and this is where I have all of my different tools to draw my sketches from. I don't like clicking up here. I like just hitting S, and here it is. So what I'm gonna do is click the circle, and I'm gonna go out and hit 30 millimeters, hit enter. You can highlight this now, okay? If you hit Q, that's a shortcut for extruding it. I can hit 10 millimeters, and now I have a puck that is 10 millimeters by 30 millimeters. If at any point you need to verify what size it is, you can go to inspect, hit measure, just click this outside here, and over here you will see it's a 30 millimeter diameter with a 15 millimeter radius, okay? So, we've drawn our first part, okay? Now, I've had a lot of people say, okay, Damon, how do you build two separate parts? Well, if you wanna build two separate parts, you're gonna come up here again, Right click, hit new component. Gonna name that component part two. Now if you notice, this part just went to see through. That's because you're not working in that part anymore. If you come up here to part one and click here, you're now working within part one. If you click here, you're gonna be working within all the parts. But I wanna work in part two right now. So now I can create part two, which means I could just right click on the top of this part, hit create sketch, and continue drawing my next part. I'm gonna hit S, circle, gonna make this only 15 millimeters, hit enter. I'm going to highlight it, hit Q, make it 10 millimeters, and now I have two separate parts. Now if I wanna see all of them together, I just come up here to the top again, click here, I'm seeing them both together. I can turn off the two parts individually by clicking over here on the left. If you look at the bottom here though, this is the history of my design. Okay, if I drag this back to here, it makes that part I just drew disappear. If I click it only to this one right here, it will show if I turn on the sketch, hang on, let me go in here, make sure my sketch is turned on. You see my sketch there, okay? So I'm gonna turn that sketch back off, close that, and move this bar over to here, and that's my part made now. Now, I've had a few emails saying, okay, how do I draw at an angle off of this? Now, if you want it to be a separate part, you'd create another component. If you want it to be jutting off the side of this as part of this, you would do it from within this part. So I've highlighted part two again. What I'm gonna do here is hit Create sketch, I'm gonna hit S, pick my line tool, and I'm gonna go off the outside of this radius because right now you notice it's not grabbing it. I'm gonna go offside the radius, click here, hit enter, 
and now I've got a line right down the middle. Okay, I'm gonna go up, gonna hit finish, and oops, I need to make sure my sketch is turned on. I'm sorry, everybody, that's probably confusing you. I'm gonna come up to construct, hit plane on an angle. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and hit home. So I'm looking at this at an angle. This right here can be a point that I can build off of. So up here I hit construction, plane on the angle. You can see it on the right. I'm gonna click this. It starts at zero degrees. So I'm gonna put in 45 degrees. And why did it just disappear on me? Oh, it's there. So now I should have did minus 45, but right there is a 45 degree plane, okay? I can now create a sketch. Remember, you can only create a sketch off a plane, okay? Hit create sketch. I'm going to hit S and pick a circle. I'm going to make it 10 millimeter. Uh, let's make it smaller than that. Let's make it five millimeter. So I made it five millimeter. Now, I'm going to push down my shift, hold down my wheel, and I'm gonna look at that and see that it's at that 45 degree angle. I'm gonna highlight that sick circle and hit Q. Now, if I hit 10 degrees, it automatically just disappears and took that little uh, space out. It basically cut, it removed it. I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do is I'm going to hit Q. I'm gonna drag it out until I see 10 millimeter, okay? But if you notice back here, it's not touching this part here. So you come up here and you're gonna hit two sides. You're extruding it from two sides. I'm gonna drag this down to here and instead of cut, which means it's removing it, I'm gonna hit join. Okay, now look, I know there's gonna be people that are experts that are gonna say, you know, you just did that so ass backwards hey, it worked. If I can learn to draw kick-ass things like this, okay, my methods have worked, okay? So now I have this sticking out of here at this angle, okay? And it's one part, because I turn this part on and off, it's all one part. However, let's do one last thing, because I don't want to make these videos really, really long. Let's take all of that out that I just did. And let's just say I need to have something shoot out the side of this, okay? So there's several ways to do this, okay? Number one is, don't forget you got your three axes down here. So turn your origin on, okay? You got your three axes down here. I'm gonna turn off this bottom part for a minute, okay? Whoops, I wanna turn it off, not select it. So now my bottom part is turned off, right? I could come over here, right click, hit create sketch. I'm at the side of this now. I could hit S and pick circle and pick right here in the middle and go, whoops, don't wanna go 10 millimeters, that's how thick it is. I'm gonna go um, 2.5 millimeters, whoops, 2.5, 2.5, hit enter. Now. This is on the inside of this right now. It's hard to grab it. You can't, it, it's almost impossible. So what you're gonna do is come over here to part number two, click bodies, and you're gonna turn off just the body. You can highlight this now, okay? And you could come out here and build the part. But let's see, well, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. I'm trying to make these videos as short as I can, people. So drag this over here like this. I'm gonna turn the body back on. You notice it's, it's removing it, it's cutting it. You could come down here, hit join, and now I've got that stuck out of the side there. But I wanna show you the way I do it when I'm designing my engines, okay? I'm just trying to show you that you must do everything off a plane. So I am, I got rid of that. I'm gonna come down here, right click, and I'm gonna hit offset plane, okay? Which means I can drag this over here. So let's go to the top real quick. And you can see this plane is moving right here. It might be hard in the video, but the plane is right over here, okay? I'm gonna make sure that plane is stuck out just a little bit. Now, if I was designing an engine, I would know exactly my measurement. Hit okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is pick this plane that's sitting over here, right click, hit create sketch. 
going to hit S, shortcut, pick my circle, going to come out and make it, let's say four, enter. <clears throat> I'm going to hit S again and make a circle that is two, enter. Okay, so now out here, I have drawn this on its own plane. I can hit Q and I can drag this back until it touches there. Now you notice it's, it's removing it, it's cutting it. I want to hit join. Hit OK. Now if I wanted to wrap this around, all the way around this, I'm going to highlight these, but I'm going to first come up here, hit create, go to pattern, hit circular. I'm going to highlight, notice over here in the right hand corner, you want to have faces selected. You don't want anything else, you want to grab faces. Faces are each of these basically face material. So I'm going to highlight these three pieces. It's going to say select an axis. I can pick the circular axis or I could pick the vertical axis down here. So I'm going to do that again. Cancel. Come up here, hit create, go to pattern, go to circular, make sure it says faces over here. I'm going to grab it here, here, and here. I'm going to hit select axis and I could click this vertical axis down here at the bottom and now you see them all the way around this. If you want to change how many there are around it, like if it's a nine cylinder engine, you're going to pick nine, hit enter, and now you've wrapped those all the way around this. Okay, but that's all I'm going to do tonight, everybody, and uh, to, to show you how this works, let me turn back on that other part, and then come up here and select this. So that's basically what we drew. Now notice you can see the sketch turned on in there. That's because I got sketch turned on here. But this is basically just the very, very basics. Keep in mind, these three, here, let me shut this off. Shut off body, shut off body. These three planes are what you have to start drawing off of. If you want to create a plane at an angle, come up and hit construction. You're going to hit plane at an angle. You're going to pick any one of these axes. It could be any axis. Hit that axis there. If I want it to be 25 degrees, you've got it 25 degrees now. If I needed to build it, start that axis 20 degrees off the center here, I would right click this, hit offset plane, and then I could build that 20 degrees off of that. You always have to have a plane to start a sketch. Okay? So I hope, since everybody, I hope that. I'm trying to keep this as basic and simple as ever. Now look, I know there's experts at Fusion 360 out there that may have much more efficient ways to do this than me, but I'm just trying to share if I taught myself how to do this and I can draw engines like I have and, and components and parts, I can't be doing too bad, okay? I'm always watching you know, YouTube trying to learn more. So that's it for this video. The next video, we're gonna get into a little bit more of actually how to use the sketches to draw more complex parts. And then the video after that, we'll start talking about how to basically notch them together and put threads in them and, and that kind of thing. So there might end up being eight or nine videos in this because I'm trying to keep them relatively short, which I know 20 minutes isn't short, but that's what I'm trying to do. So thanks for watching the video. Send me emails if you got questions or ask questions on YouTube or on my Facebook. And if you haven't joined my Patreon, you might want to take a look at it because all my 3D designs are on my Patreon. So you can join as either a uh, first officer, I'm sorry, a navigator, first officer, or a captain. Each level comes with its own perks. Um, but the most basic level, you still get all my 3D designs one way or another. Okay? So even at the most basic level, you get my 3D designs. Sometimes you won't get the new ones as fast. Okay? But you will ultimately end up getting all my 3D designs. So thanks for watching everybody, have an awesome day and rock on.